I'm going to play an almost slightly silly number on you this afternoon. That is to say, talk about a number of works of art which have little enough to do with each other stylistically or conceptually. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. That certainly wasn't the basis of choice. It's not going to be uh, a commentary on a theme, on a movement, on an ideology, or on an historical matter at all, but rather on, to put it very simply, a basic element that painters deal with. What sense I'm going to be making out of this, well, we'll have to find out. Uh, I simply want to introduce the subject itself, just by a few preliminary remarks. Can you all hear, hear me, by the way? Okay, good. By saying, if you think of what is really a, a universal quotient in painting, what lacking which a painting could hardly expect to be called a painting, you have really only one or two, possibly, candidates. Scale would be one of them. I should say shape, better, shape. A painting is in a shape, has a shape. And the other I should imagine is color. Paintings can do without line. They can do without a sense of space or depiction of space. They can also di dispense <coughs> with representation of light. They can be indifferent to composition location, value contrast, all these things feed in or out of painting according to the will of the artist. But if he puts marks of a substance on a ground, the substance generally is color, even if his expressive interests aren't particularly oriented towards color. Well, that's a rather mechanistic way of putting the whole thing. Of course, we can say much more for the role of color in art. Generally, um, it tends to be a kind of very dynamic, expressive vehicle, <coughs> which husbands and comprehends and orients and channels the whole, <coughs> shall we say, the energy system of the painting <coughs> itself. <clears throat> it's a mysterious and inexplicable and generally upfront matter. Sensitivity to and analysis of color are almost invariably in short supply. And during the years that I've been working as a critic, this problem, this option of discussing color, chronically comes back, partially because of its resistance to being articulated in words, but also because of the nagging sense it gives any observer that it has so much fundamentally to do with the presence that we view on the wall or in the gallery, the museum, or the home. <coughs> so much, ultimately, that discharges the painter's basic instincts, is responsible, finally, for his worldview, and which, in the end result, tends to subsume his overall vision. Uh, my feeling is that uh, given the state of painting today and its options and its ambitions, the real territory that has to be explored is color, is precisely color. Um, uh, we've gone through a whole range of uh, structural ideas and sometimes there are interesting things developed and the like. But if they're not to be merely enlarged drawings on canvas, there is then this sort of gaping problem of how do you produce a color vision. Now, the history of American art since the war has been extraordinary in terms of color discovery. It's the most orchestrated and the most ambitious attempt to deal with color in modern art that we've had since Orphism and Matisse, you know, back in the earlier part of the century, when there was a comparable kind of efflorescence of excitement in color. Know, and expressionism and, uh, and, and the like. And I think that 
if this runs down, then painting tends to lose steam. You see, if this extra uh, interesting color, you know, whether it be Hans Hoffmann of the Germanic persuasion, or, right, or a uh, or Rothko, uh, or Litsky, or Morris Lewis of uh, those earlier f artists. Uh, or Kelly or people like that, they opened up color in an important way. Now what I see today, and some of the, some of the works I have in mind I put on the screen, are artists who ostensibly are, are dealing with color, are working with it, but tend to be satisfied too quickly, too prematurely with what color can do. I could have shown you for any one of the slides I had on the screen, literally scores if not hundreds of works of art, which are just simply great color fields in which there's just a kind of monochrome going on. And, you know, there's terrific finesse, terrific sensitivity to nuance and surface treatment, tactility and the like, and just nothing happening in color at all. Although, what else does one have in such work? It's not enough. And so I think that we're in trouble about color, too. And yet, color would be the salvation. <laughs>